Hi guys, it's Honey. Welcome here. So if you don't know, I am a full-time wheelchair user. I'm a mom of seven and I am a military wife as well. So I do have a lot of things going on. I also have another channel that um, is an Animal Crossing channel and I've taken on this art journey as well, which is, I don't know, crazy. I'm probably pretty crazy, but I wanted to have somewhere where I could talk to you guys. And so it seemed like a good idea at the time. One thing I've been asked quite a bit is from a lot of able-bodied people is how can they help? And the way you guys can help is not necessarily the way you think you could help. So I get a lot of help and it's kind of patronizing sometimes. I get patronized into a corner even. Like I've had people grab my wheelchair and try and push me places when I'm out in public. I've had people um, try and carry my bags, try and put things on shelves for me, try and do things that are within my reach and within my grasp. It's not like I'm trying to reach something on a top shelf and they're getting it down for me, which is a kindness, you know. And But I do have a voice and I know how to ask um, if I can't reach something. I know how to ask somebody to help me. Um, the important thing is to not assume that somebody needs your help. I know this is hard because we are trained from a very young age that we should feel bad for people that are less fortunate than us. And the problem is, is that we have learned that anyone less fortunate than us is defined by anyone who can't do everything that we can do. And that's not necessarily the case. See, people come in all different shapes and sizes and abilities. And sometimes I'm fine that I'm a little more capable than someone who's completely able-bodied at certain things. And it's just, you know, we're varied. We're human. It's beautiful. We can't all do the same things and we don't all have the same abilities. It's absolutely perfect, exactly the way it is. The important thing is to just not assume that somebody needs help and don't assume that somebody is less fortunate than you if you see them with a walker or a mobility aid or a wheelchair because that person might have an entire system and might be completely independent, might even live alone independent, do their own cleaning, their own laundry, their own living. You don't know. Maybe they do need help. Usually if someone needs help, they kind of take a caregiver with them. Like I won't leave my house alone because can you imagine? I can't chase after my two-year-old and my four-year-old still be in the wheelchair, deal with the chronic pain and like, I don't have a car that's modified because it's really expensive and there's no way I can't, there's no way I can manage all of that. So I don't personally leave the house alone. I leave the house with somebody to help me. Now, if I am doing something that I'm perfectly capable of, like pushing a shopping cart through a Walmart, um, and I send that person maybe to the other end of the store because they need something and I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And they know me, so they know I'm perfectly capable and fine with grabbing things and sticking them in the cart and pushing the cart. They know me, so they're okay with leaving me in that situation. And a lot of times a random stranger will come up to me and actually start pushing my cart or pushing me or um, asking where I need to go, asking what I'm looking for. It's a little bit patronizing. It is. I'm, and I, it's not to be mean, but you just can't assume that people need help when they really don't actually look like they need help. If they're not completely distressed or crying or like upset, or they're not actually asking for help, then maybe just say hi make polite conversation if you want but otherwise just treat them like they're anybody else they might not actually feel less fortunate than you do you know than you are anyway um that might actually not be a thing they might feel perfectly okay with what they are i've said this before and i'll say it again because i truly stand by it being in a wheelchair is not the worst thing that's ever happened to me it really isn't. There are far worse things that have happened to me and there are far worse things that I can imagine happening and the wheelchair is just not the worst thing. 
I don't know, like, how can you help? You can help by maybe petitioning your local stores that you see aren't accessible, that might have a step up and no ramp. You can talk to people who don't hold to ADA compliance. You can, you know, maybe not use the ex wheelchair accessible stalls or the handicapped services so that people with actual disabilities can use them when they need them. Um, you can help by donating to services for people who are less fortunate, who maybe can't afford their medical care. There are a million ways you can help. They don't actually have to be um, walking up to a stranger in a mall who can't walk and praying over them for their healing. I've had that happen. I've had somebody come over and ask to pray for me for my healing. I have a genetic disease. It's not going away. There's no healing. God is pretty much pretty sure God's aware of it. If you know, if that if you believe in God, I can tell you right now that he's aware of my bodily situation. If he's as almighty as you say he is, then he knows. And it's something that he allowed to happen. And I'm actually okay with it. So um, maybe you can help by being accepting and understanding that it's okay to be different. It's, it's okay that we don't have all of the same abilities that you have. And, you know, we love you and um, appreciate the attitude and willingness to help but maybe let's start redefining what help actually is. Um, maybe ask people. Just something as simple as asking, do you need help? And somebody can say yes or no. It's, you know, people in sales, they do it all the time. Do you need help? Can I help you? Because I'm customer service, not sales. Sales is entirely different. But like, you can ask people just respect people as human beings and find out what they're capable of before you um, impose your help on people and if you have a disability um, try to be understanding because people are human and look at people look at the intention rather than the action and maybe take a part in trying to help correct this I know there's so much anger and people are so re resentful because ableism is awful. But being angry and projecting anger onto everybody all the time because of because they make mistakes because they're human, it actually alienates an entire group of people that can help us because we don't have a lot of disabled ad advocates because let's face it, being disabled hurts and it's exhausting. And we don't have a lot of people speaking up for us because pain's exhausting. So let's remember that everybody who wants to help is a potential ally and maybe help them just gain the tools to know how to help us effectively. The same way that anyone who needs help in their lives can help others around them understand the kind of help that they need. It's a basic human concept. It's not rocket science. It's not complicated and it's not hard. And that is it. If you guys would like to know, you know, a little bit more about how I keep a positive attitude with a disability or how I manage to get through life with a disability, then let me know down in the comments. I would love to tell you about it. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. You guys could be doing absolutely anything and you chose to spend a few minutes here with me. I'm sorry if this con topic was a little triggering for anybody. I hope that everybody understands my intention and I hope that you guys all have an amazing day and have had an amazing new year so far. And until next time, bye.